Hello all, Shoestring here. Last night we had a major storm and the power went out, which happens frequently around here. I have shown several videos with my little setup here that leaves a light on so people can still move around and see what's going on. With the power out, it's inexpensive. We have simply a 400 watt inverter with a 35 amp hour battery, and this runs all night. Okay, so it's now morning, and the sun is up, and I've had several people ask me, is it difficult to charge that up? Well, I'm about to show you just how easy it is to charge this up with a little solar system. Okay, little solar power system. That is not really that expensive. All right, let's walk, unhook this and walk it out to the charging station. Okay, we're out here at my charging station and here's our little 35 amp hour battery. And what are we going to do? Well, first of all, let's point out this is an AGM battery. AGM batteries and lithium you can use in the house. The regular deep cycle flooded produce gases, please don't use them in the house. Okay, so how are we gonna charge this inexpensively? Real simple. I'm going to show you some items that I've gotten from Harbor Freight that I've used for years. And they work really well. First thing, we want to step over here. Excuse the mess I have not cleaned up from the storm yet. I have a charge regulator. Ooh, it comes from Harbor Freight. You can easily look these up and see how much they cost. They still offer these at a relatively low expense and... Uh, you can get coupons and get prices off. I've had it for such a long time, as you can see, I've had to, the letters have come off. So I've written these myself, battery, solar, and load. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is take this little inexpensive thing and we're going to hook it up to the battery. Easy to do. Hook up <laughs> the positive. Then we'll hook up the negative. Sometimes not so easy with one hand, but I am trying to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so positive and negative are both hooked up. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to connect the solar. As you can see, this says solar. I have it hanging right here. Okay, so what I do with this is I have this going through a little hole in my screen. See that? And it goes out to that 45 watt solar panel. 35 watt solar panel. It's just sitting out there in the yard. I have a little cover for it for uh, at night or when it rains. Just like I said, a little 45 watt system. And I use this setup right here to charge small batteries that ne just needs to be topped off. Okay, so let's go ahead and hook this up. Okay, all hooked up. Solar panel, right there. Goes down through my screen and uh, to those solar panels right out there. It's yellow, of course, because it's charging and it's connected to this battery. The battery will charge up and it will be put back in place. The next time there's a major storm, then it will be all ready to go. And for if the power goes out again and around here, it does a lot. So this is cheap and inexpensive way to do it. You can look up the amounts of how much these little charge regulators. I don't want to tell you how much because the price changed a lot. Easy for you guys to go to Harbor Freight and look it up. This is a 35 amp hour battery also from Harbor Freight. You can get them with coupons and look around, relatively inexpensive as well. Let's go out there and check out the solar panel real quick. Okay, so it comes through the fence. There are the cables right up here to the, to the solar panels. Like I said, this is a 45 watt solar panel. I also got it at Harbor Freight, but I don't think these are available anymore. But they do have 100 watts, and they have 25 watts. And don't just look at Harbor Freight for solar panels. You can get them inexpensively 
from a lot of different places. So please shop around. But the point of this was to show you how really easy it is to set up a small little charging station where you can charge your batteries right back up after you've used them. Let's go back. So the lesson of this little tale is it is not expensive and not difficult to set up a little charging station like I have right here. Then you can charge your batteries up. In fact, if we look underneath this, I have some deep cycle batteries right here that I also use to charge up. Of course, these are deep cycle lead acid. They are not used in the house. But I have just charged them up with this same little inexpensive system. So if you have any questions, please put it down in the comments. And I hope video like this are helpful to you. So if you like these kinds of videos, please subscribe and like. And put something down in the comments. I get a lot of suggestions on videos to make. Things people want to know by the comments below. Shoestring out.